What's going on? What's up folks? My name is Dandy Wellington. I do videos on jazz, style, and culture. If you're new here, please subscribe. We're doing a little bit of a different setup today because it is time, finally time, to do an office tour. I've been in this apartment for about a year and knowing that I spend most of my time working from home and then performing at night, I felt that it was really important to have a space that felt warm, that felt welcoming, that I could walk into and be inspired, but also be able to focus on work. So I created this space. Now, because of the pandemic, I had to make some adjustments to this space because we all had to make adjustments with our life. So this space now serves three purposes. It's my office where I can sit down and do work, get on the computer, get some things done. It's also a shooting space, as you've seen, where I do all my YouTube shoots and then also sometimes do some recordings, some vocal recordings. Also, it's where I get dressed. As you've seen in my previous video when I did my wardrobe switch over, link right there, my closet is right back there. That's where I keep about half my clothes. So this space really fulfills a lot of different uses in my life, but it also has a lot of details that really mean a lot to me. There's a lot of significance on these walls, a lot of significance on these bookshelves, so I figured I would take you through it one step at a time. So let's take a look. Now right here is my desk where I spend literally most of my time. I spend a lot of time on the computer, whether it be doing graphic design, updating my website, sending out contracts, all the things. Being a small business owner, I am the CEO, I'm the accountant, I'm the marketing director, I'm the talent, I'm all these things. If you're a small business owner, you know what I mean. So I spend a lot of time at this desk on my computer. Though I'm working on that small screen, I still need a lot of room on the desk. I love this desk. Honestly, it's an Ikea desk that I probably got um, eight years ago, 10 years ago. Essentially, it's one big piece of wood that allows me to stretch out and to be comfortable. I never feel like I don't have enough space. I can sit here and I can do all of my vocal recordings. I can do voiceovers. So all of the things that I need are really at my fingertips. And it's really, really comfortable to sit here, whether it be for two hours or for 12 hours, for 18 hours. I'm a little bit of a workaholic, but you know what I mean. I can be here all day and I can get a lot of work done. I want to show you a couple pieces of artwork. This one behind me is a piece by an old classmate of mine, Joel. When I saw it years ago, I think I might have been a sophomore in high school. It really resonated with me. It's this sort of really abstract train of thought, almost like a dream. And I immediately loved it. I decided to hang it up in this office because it would provide me a little bit of inspiration. Sometimes you need artwork in your life that's not so tangible, that helps you to process the intangible. This piece on the other side is called A Nightclub Map of Harlem. It's a piece done by Elmer Sims in 1933, and I just love it. There's so much inspiration. Being someone who's born and raised in Harlem and has an affinity for the jazz age and the jazz musicians of that time, I get whisked away in my imagination thinking about the different people that performed, the different nightclub acts, people like Duke Ellington, people like Fats Waller. And this piece helps me imagine some of the acts, some of the shows that I want to do in my own lifetime when I'm on stage, when I'm producing events. Now if we're gonna talk about jazz, if we're gonna talk about nightlife, if we're gonna talk about Harlem, we've got to talk about this painting. A painting of Louis Armstrong done on black Velvet. My goodness. My goodness. This piece was given to me by my friend Brent Napoleon, whose grandfather, Marty Napoleon, played with Louis Armstrong. It just fills me with so much joy. Every time I look at it, I'm so inspired. I feel like 
I have a part of that family in my home. I feel like I have a part of the legacy of Louis Armstrong. Now granted, there's a lot of Louis Armstrong in this office. I love Louis. Like, that's my guy. One of the most important inspirations, architects, and innovators of jazz. Louis Armstrong is king. Absolutely king. And so, being somebody who loves jazz, I have to have Louis all over my office. Now on either side of Louis, I've got two bookcases that are full. I could have more, but they're full of books. Full of books, full of films, full of inspiration. I've got everything from books from Ralph Lauren, even books from my childhood that inspired me today. There's a ton of books on here, and you know what? I've been thinking about doing a video on my top 10 menswear books. If you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below. All these things are on these bookcases so that inspiration is just at arm's reach. Under these bookcases, you'll see a lot of things. From press clippings, like when I was in print magazine because of the book I Am Dandy, to prints from J.C. Leindecker, to some of my favorite pieces from the Black Apparel Arts Challenge. Also in the mix is an incredible piece by Archibald Motley. This one called Street Scene feels like the life I want to live. Bands playing, people dancing, it's lively and it inspires me. I love it. And just across from Louis Armstrong, I have to have some of the other kings of swing. Duke Ellington and of course Chick Webb featuring the lovely Ella Fitzgerald. Above that, I've got some of my favorite Saturday Evening Post covers. One thing I have a ton of on these walls is hats. I love hats. From vintage hats, Hats by Blakesby, Hats by Stetson, and of course, my friends, Thomas Farthing. I love hats. They are an essential in my wardrobe. But speaking of clothing, let's look at some of the other wardrobe items in this room. Now, as you may have noticed, I always have not one, but two wardrobe setups in this office. These serve as tutorial looks for the backdrops of my videos. You see this? This double-decker bus is from my London season of Club Swizzle. It was a gift to the cast from the directors and it really means so much to me. That was the first time that I was on a huge stage in London and performing at the Roundhouse to Almost a thousand people every night was just a fantastic experience. So I have things like this on these bookcases to remind me of some of the great memories of the past. I mean, you know how it is. Life moves on, things happen quickly, and you forget. You forget your achievements, you forget some of these moments. And of course, I'm never gonna forget this one, but some I might. So I always have them here to remind me. And below this bookcase, sitting on trunks and suitcases and all kinds of things, I've got all my pins, all my cufflinks, all my collar bars, tie bars, colognes, all kinds of stuff. This is essentially my dresser. Instead of having a conventional dresser with drawers and everything, I've got trunks, I've got vintage suitcases. It's just my vibe. It's the way I've had it for a long time, but also it serves as a really nice backdrop for videos. So, you know, this is all about a multi-use space. So that was a little bit of a look at my home office. Which part was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and of course hit that bell so you get notifications. I also want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. I just hit 10,000 subscribers thanks to you. I really, really appreciate it. This pandemic has been crazy, and I've put a lot of my time, my effort, my love, and a whole lot of laughs into YouTube so that you guys can forget the craziness. Listen, during times like this, 
we have to inspire each other. We have to make each other laugh. We have to engage with music, with style, with culture. We have to find time to engage with the things that make us human, make us happy, and make us whole during this crazy time. I'm gonna keep doing it. I hope you keep watching. Thanks so much. See you soon. Thank you to my patrons. Also, check out these bags. Come on.